Hello Year 3 and 4, it's Day 5 and today in Maths we're going to be comparing angles. So your first task is in the email you received uh, this worksheet. What I need you guys to do is to um, label the different types of angles on the eight um, questions here. So you can see on the left hand side where the angles have been defined. We've got uh, right angles which we should know is a uh, 90 degrees. We've got something called an obtuse angle. So this is where the angle is greater than a right angle, but less than a straight line. Uh, and, and we've got at the bottom here, we've got an acute angle, which is smaller than a right angle. You can see the angle between the lines is smaller than a right angle. So give that a really good go first um, to identify the different types of angles. Um, so what we're going to do first, we're going to label each of these angles as either obtuse, acute, or a right angle. The easiest one, I would say, is definitely the right angle. We can see the, the two lines in the middle meet together to create a 90 degree angle, a right angle. These two lines have met, and these two lines on this far side have met as well. But we can see if I just try and draw a 90 degree angle here, the actual angle between the two black lines is greater than the right angle. So if we refer back to our sheet, that actually means that this is an obtuse angle. The angle is greater than 90 degrees, but smaller than a straight line. So we've got a right angle in the middle. That must mean that this far one must be an acute angle because the angle is actually smaller than a right angle. Another question you might get is you need to draw four different acute angles. Remember, an acute angle is an angle that is smaller than 90 degrees. And in the middle here, it's got a 90 degree angle cutout for reference. This is 90 degrees. So you need to draw angles that are going to be less than 90 degrees. So I'm asking you to draw four. I'm going to draw two. Um, please, please, please make sure that you try and draw this with a ruler because it won't work or look very good if you don't uh, use one. Um, I can't use a ruler on, on the on the laptop, but I'm just going to try my best to draw a straight line here and another straight line here to create one acute angle, and another straight line here, and another straight line there to create two acute angles. You guys need to draw four, um, but here's some examples just to show you. Make sure you label the angles, which these images haven't done to show that you know what an acute angle looks like. Okay, the question here says, label all the angles in this shape as obtuse, acute, or right angles. Okay, so you can see there's lots of parts of the shape here where more, well, the two lines will meet. So in the corner here, top left corner, we've got a right angle. We've got another right angle in the opposite corner here. There's some other angles that we need to identify. There's one here on this side and another one here. And it's the same in the opposite corner as well. We've got one here and one here. Now, if you look at these angles, these two in the bottom left corner, they are actually bigger than 90 degrees. Now, if you remember, an angle that is bigger than 90 degrees but less than 180 is called an obtuse. I'm just going to put a little O by that to label obtuse. Obtuse. We can see it's the same in the opposite corner in the top right. These two are also obtuse angles. The shape doesn't have any acute angles. Remember, an acute angle is where 
the angles are less than 90 degrees. Okay, the next question uh, it says, has the minute hand moved through an acute or obtuse angle to get from A to B? Now remember, clocks move in a clockwise direction, which we looked at on Monday. We're going from time A to time B. So the minute hand, that's what we're focusing on, the minute hand. Now, if I draw on, on uh, clock A, the minute hand to get from the nine to the two. Nine to the two, okay? Clockwise is in this direction. Has it moved through an acute or obtuse angle to get from A to B? Well, we can see it's actually, it's created an angle here. The angle is greater than 90 degrees. It's created an obtuse angle. Guys, good luck with the questions today. Um, remember, do uh, either red or blue or gold. Um, everybody should be on the blue. If you want to challenge yourself, give the gold a go. If you're finding it a little bit tricky, do the red. Um, good luck. Remember, if you need your help, please just email your teacher.